All right, hello everybody. My name is Aaron Quito Graham, and I'm here to let you know whether or not you will make it in to heaven. The thing about it is, I don't know about you, but if someone came up to me and just smacked me on the head, I have the innate response to want to hit back. We as Christians, we believe that you turn the other cheek, correct? But in regards to our humanity, we feel as if we need to hit back when we get hit, okay? Unless, you know, there's fight or flight and whatnot. God feels, to a certain extent, the same way. When we sin, when we do something that's against God, he wants to hit us back, okay? So from the beginning, with Adam and Eve, when we became separated from God, that's when the race to reconcile with God came from, okay? So after Adam and Eve, he started the process with the laws and the rulers, okay? He, he attempted to reconcile us, with the laws and the rules, and we failed, okay? So in regards to the offering, to the lamb, to the doves, for those of you who aren't from a Christian background that don't have this understanding, God's journey as us Christians did not begin with Christianity. It became... It became a reality with Judaism, okay? In Judaism, if I sin, I have to bring an offering to God and say, God, pour out your wrath on this offering instead of me. And that would make me clean, okay? And throughout the Old Testament, we see the foreshadowing of Christ, okay? There's Passover where the Israelites would take the blood of the lamb and put it over their door doorpost. With Moses, the people were having certain issues with illnesses and sicknesses. And Moses had constructed a snake and put it on a rod by the instructions of the Lord. And when they glanced at it, they would get healed. All these small things are foreshadowing the coming of Christ. Okay, we have all these fallen rule, rulers. We have all these uh, broken laws. Israel went back to back and forth with idolatry and idol worship. And um, even the Bible explains and goes as far as saying that Israel is the bride, okay? And that has cheated on God. So from there, we're in this predicament where we're like, okay, we're separated from God. Now what? Because clearly our works, what we do with our hands, is not working. So God said, I'm going to calm myself down and become the perfect sacrifice the wrath that i want to pour out is going to be poured out on myself for all mankind every nation every tribe every tongue okay so with that being said for those of you who think christianity is bigoted or intolerant the reason why Jesus is the only way is because he was the only one that was the pure living sacrifice and he did not stay dead he rose up from the dead okay and even if you look at certain uh, things in Judaism they weren't even allowed to touch the dead so that even broke the whole concept of who God was 
if a Jew is not even allowed to touch a dead person, God, God surpassed the, that understanding where he, he even, in a sense, died and rose up from the dead, showing that he is God. So to make things clear, how to know if you're going to make it to heaven. You make it to heaven by receiving Jesus. Okay. What does this look like tangibly? Tangibly, this looks like following Jesus. Okay. And what he taught. Also, because Jesus is living, having a relationship with Jesus. Okay. You will make it into heaven if this is true for you.